Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Ultimate Potato. Welcome back to Paraspra. We are in the end game now. Holy cow. Uh, don't get me wrong. We still have a whole bunch of problems. We've still got a little, a little ways to go uh, in terms of getting all of our operations, our independent operations up and running. Uh, we have serious supply issues. Uh, colonists aren't sticking around for long because we're not being able to feed them. But apart from that... We're in the end game. Um, thank you everyone for uh, for leaving all of the uh, all of the comments in the last video. I need to get my oxygen down ASAP. I don't know if fire is a legitimate thing that can happen on Mars. Um, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But apparently, having oxygen in in this high region, fifty four percent, is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, we might be able to we might be able to cause a couple of fires. Uh, so I'm going to see if we can try and uh, accelerate. The amount of uh, the amount of oxygen we're we're getting out of the atmosphere. So I'm going to scrap all of the aquadomes. That's hopefully going to give us a couple of resources back. Uh, speaking of resources, by the way, that we're having a shortage of silicon. Silicon is a big one. Uh, silicon and glass, we're we're not doing too well for food as well. I mean, food is just it's just in such a terrible position. I mean, we've never had more than 17 units in stock in the last 100 months. That is absolutely abysmal. And at most, we had 70. I mean, we are consistently... I mean, our, the, way that, the, way that, um, the way that colonies work is that, you know, colonists are only able to eat the food that has been produced. So, therefore, it makes perfect sense that demand, you know, pretty perfectly mirrors production. Supply pretty much uh, perfectly equals demand. But, I mean, I would love to be able to increase production to the point where we're actually able to stockpile a couple of resources. Of course, in order to do that, we need water and we also need... What is it? Chemicals? Is it chemicals for food? Yeah, it's water and chemicals for food. And I don't think that we're able to... We're, we're not able to hit either our chemical or water production. I think it's... I think it's chemicals that are presenting the biggest problem at the moment, although in the future, uh, water may indeed become a problem, as it was in the past. So, let's see if we can try and sort out our chemical, our chemical issue, and maybe, just maybe, that will, that will sort of turn us back, uh, to the right direction. I'm immediately gonna cancel that build, actually. I hate the fact that I used the level 1 plant. I don't think that we need the level 2, uh, chemical extraction plant, but the level 1 plant is, uh, is absolutely not gonna be good enough. Similarly, this chemical deposit over here, this might actually warrant a tier 3 chemical plants. Uh, let's scrap the worker hub so that we can get rid of, uh, so that we can get rid of that. Uh, speaking of workers, uh, our worker, our worker network is a little bit problematic at the moment. It's a little bit spaced out, hence why we're going to move to this model of, you know, independently isolated setups. I mean, obviously, I hope that we don't have a, a repeat of this one. I'm going to try and get this one fixed. I'm going to try and get this, uh, this little, this little outpost fixed. But, I mean, it, I, yeah, it's not worked altogether too well. But if I reintroduce a worker hub over here, I think, I think I'll be able to get it back up and running. So we'll do that, we'll prioritize that. Also, I'm gonna try and slowly but surely deprioritize a whole bunch of buildings uh, around these parts because there's no real reason to, to have them all prioritized. Have we got a maintenance facility over here? We do, and hopefully this is all gonna be, this is all gonna be fixed up and our power production should get back to normal levels. This this area is also looking a little bit sketchy, but we need some electronics and electronics we should have. We don't have electronics. Okay. We do have an electronics factory. The problem is, is that we have, is that we've got a little bit too, a little bit, uh, a little bit too little power, a little bit too little power in order to, in order to power everything at the same time which is slightly problematic. Let's actually scrap that wind farm. Let's scrap that wind farm and let's hopefully use that power to go, or use the electronics, use the electronics to go towards, use the electronics to go towards the construction of the maintenance facility. Otherwise, I think we're gonna have, I think we're gonna have problems. Yeah. Yeah, silicon, Silicon production and aluminium production. What do we got in this? What do we got in this building right now? We don't have silicon, but we do have aluminium. Okay. I mean, I can turn off. I can turn off all of the useless stuff here. The iron mine that probably doesn't need to to be turned on for the moment. But yeah, we need to make sure that this that this area doesn't go the same way as this area, and it's all to do with maintenance because I just get distracted and I decide to work on something else, and uh, and that's and that's a problem. Right. Uh, going back to what the heck is that? That's a is that a little cache of 
That's a little cache of electronics over there for some obscene reason. All right, they're just chilling. Fair enough. Uh, yes, workers, 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 workers. We need glass. We need glass panes in order to in order to get our workers uh, properly up and running. I'm trying to develop a hyperloop up to this area, and in fact, I'll tell you what, are we able to connect the hyperloop? We are able to connect a hyperloop over here. So let's do that, and then we'll see if we can try and get another hyperloop in this vicinity as well. Uh, speaking of oxygen, let's get that scrap. That should free up a couple of glass panes, because glass panes are apparently what we are after. All right, cool. Let's unpause and let's uh, see what's going on. Uh, I hope everyone is uh, is enjoying the series. Certainly, it seems like we got a lot of people. Oh, this needs to be scrapped as well. This area is actually working very, very well. And we should probably be doing more with it. I'm glad everyone is enjoying the series. Glad everyone's enjoying the story. I should um I should clarify. I should clarify my opinions on the story. I like the fact that the game has a story. I just feel like the uh, like the number of interruptions are uh, are rather numerous. And I feel like maybe could be a little bit better served with uh, with a few fewer interruptions. Also, again, I completely this is yeah this is not good over here. So we got a situation where we just don't have enough chemicals, but we have enough chemical mines, and therefore I should just be building them. I should just be building them. Building limit has been reached, and therefore we're going to need to take remedial action. This area is working well though. Like this area is fine. Research outpost is in rubble. Rebuild that. Scrap that worker hub over there, and we'll see if we can redevote our max resource limit. Also, I should maybe ditch some of these drone hives. Yeah, I should maybe ditch some of these drone hives, or maybe... Let me turn that back on. Uh, in fact, no, there's no reason to turn that back on. Scrap that, because we're out of iron. Uh, we're gonna need to find another iron deposit over here, and in order to find another iron deposit, we're gonna need to use an aerological scanner, which I have yet to build in this vicinity, which is very, very highly embarrassing. Uh, but that's okay. Once our building limit has been reduced, we should be able to get on top of this. Anyway, you know, there are a couple of- there are a couple of holes- there are a couple of holes in the strategy. Uh, but, you know, apart from that, I mean, everything is actually working- Everything is actually working fairly well. If we can fix our chemical supply issue, if we can fix our silicon supply issue, we'll probably be in a pretty good place. We'll probably be in a pretty good place. This this little outpost over here is certainly one of the best. Certainly one of the best. Uh, oxygen release plant. Have I? Yeah, I've scheduled all of these for deconstruction, which is excellent. And the traffic over here is not terrible. It's not exactly ideal, but it's not terrible. Far from it. We can we can fix it all up. Uh, and that is slowly but surely being deconstructed, which is very, very nice. We'll get ourselves... Ah, 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 okay, all right. Have we, have we uncovered, have we uncovered the aliens? Have we uncovered the aliens? I don't think that we've uncovered them. No, that's my base, that's my base. Even though it looks like, like trash, we've not uncovered them. I think that we're still in the process of launching a couple of rockets towards, towards sector discovery here. Yeah, okay. Have we got... Yeah, we got some intruders. We got some intruders that I... That I let slip in under the radar here. Alright, let's, uh... Let's fix this up. I didn't even realize that intruders were, were on route. I mean, this is just irritating more than anything else. I think that my robots are still stronger than, than their robots. It's fine. Yeah, it's more irritating than anything else. But they can probably deal some pretty significant damage. Uh, is there a route over here? Did I see aliens over in this vicinity? No, I think I've just got a whole bunch of buildings that ain't working. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, combat interface. Have a little look-see. Looks like we're still chasing them down. Did we manage to chase them down over here? I think we did. Excellent. 230 robots. They're still, they've still got 230 robots. I... There are robots over here. There are robots over here. There's 57 robots over here. Okay, we'll chase them down. Chase them down. Good stuff. Okay. I think... I think that's all of them? 181. No, it's absolutely not. If I... If I zoom out, is there... Is there any way that I can see? Ah, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we're chasing down 81 over there. That means that there's one last grouping of 100. Ah! We found it. We found the last grouping of 100. Cool. All right. Well, I'll dispatch 78 robots to take to take you out. Maybe that'll be enough. I'll drag down some reinforcements over here just to be on the safe side. What was that? A maintenance facility. Wowzers. They really like to destroy maintenance facilities, don't they? They really, really do. 
They really, really do. And there we go. That's it. That's perfect. Okay, so that's everything. There's not exactly, there's not exactly a large number of, uh, not exactly a large number of enemy robots to contend with, but it's it's irritating nonetheless to occasionally uh, have to refocus our effort on uh, on this area. Right? Am I scrapping this? Have I this? Okay, yeah, this area is just straight up not working. Let's let's connect this landing site. We'll connect this landing site up, which means that we're going to get a whole bunch of extra deposits, and we're also going to get access to a robot, which is kind of important, and it also allows us to utilize the resources from this lander as well. I'm not against just throwing down an extra lander if we need to, but we will prioritize the deconstruction of this wind farm, and then we're going to get this maintenance facility up and running, and that should be done imminently. Then we'll be able to rebuild our power. You know, maybe we, we don't stick with wind because wind is garbage, but... Uh, but that's fine. Okay, this area is looking this area is looking real good. Did we get that chemical plant up and running? No, we didn't because we're still not at we still haven't uh, passed significantly our building limits. We need to keep our building limit in mind, honestly, going forward. Uh, let's take a little look at the orbital view, see what the heck is going on up here. We are close to doing the space mirror array. I don't know if that's going to change anything now. GHG import. I mean, maybe we want to get some GHG import to... Oh my goodness, my oxygen is just so bad. So bad, so bad, so bad. Uh, what about the other sectors? The other sectors, electronics, and yep, it's chemicals. I would actually suspect that the vast majority of these chemicals are already part of processes. I suspect if we were able to... If we were able to... Uh, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is very, very cool. GHG manufacturing, 0%. Oxygen release manufacturing, 0%. Polymer manufacturing. Food manufacturing is high. Special projects, let's leave it high as well. Okay, that's that's uh, that's nifty. I didn't realize that that was a thing. Very, very cool indeed. Silicon production allocation, let's... Uh, let's, let's... Let's leave it. Let's leave it as, as, as even, to be honest. Okay, so that should mean that we're able to, hopefully, rapidly expand the amount of food that we're able to... That we're able to get chemical plants are either of these a big chunky vein none of these are big chunky veins none of these are big chunky veins at all but there are chunky veins up here i did know that there were chunky veins up here flood zone underwater yeah it's a bit of a shame okay i'm actually gonna queue that up oh that's a chunky vein already isn't it i'm pretty sure that this is on a chunky vein i won't i can't tell but i'm pretty sure that it is i'm gonna prioritize that We'll leave that there for now, because it's not going to be... It's not going to be up and running. That worker hub needs to be prioritized as well. Uh, we do need a little bit more steel, but I think that there are some chunky veins that we're, that we're onto up here. And in fact, it would be excellent if we could get a couple of... A couple of additional steel factories over here, too. Building limit reached, of course. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that for just a mere microsecond. The fact that we still have uh, an impending, an impending, an impending limit here. But that's not necessarily a problem because we're working on this. It says it's going to take a long time to get engineering. Honestly, if we get on top of our food situation, then we'll be just fine. Let's see if we can try and devote a little bit of extra energy to this area over here. Turn this on. Turn this on. Turn this on. Will we have enough power to power all of this at the same time? Kind of doubt it, to be honest. Kind of doubt it. We totally do. We totally do. We've got all of the power that we that we could possibly need. Right, what do we need for the worker factory here? Are we, in fact, close to... Are we, in fact, close to having all of the resources? Yeah, in fact, you know what? We've got all of the resources that we need to make many, 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 many workers. Uh, there's only a couple of workers that are actually active in this area at the moment. The traffic interface probably ain't the greatest, but that's that's actually completely fine. Uh, let's turn this building on. I think that we're in a position where we can seriously devote a good number of resources to getting this Hyperloop connection built. And this will at least mean that we can that we can be spaced out a little bit. Uh, not operative. Everything is not operative here, though. So, therefore, we should have the power. We should have the power that we need. How much power does this actually require? How much power does this actually require? We're getting 20 megawatts from the lander. Huh. 
do not active buildings still consume power? Even though they're not operative, are they still... Are they still taking my power away? I think that might be the case. Worker hub. Wind farm. I mean, sure. Uh, right. I mean, that should absolutely be working. We're supplying 20 megawatts. 20 megawatts is available. The lander is... is It's outputting 19 megawatts. Is that the problem? Here's the thing. The good news is, is that I absolutely categorically have got enough... Do I have enough glass? I don't have enough glass. I don't have enough glass to build a solar plant, but I do have enough glass to build a wind plant. So let's do that. Uh, building limit has, of course, been reached. Uh, let's scrap a worker hub over here, perhaps. But even scrapping a worker hub ain't gonna make much of a difference. I should probably scrap a building. Yeah, I should probably scrap a building over here. Let's prioritize the deconstruction of this oxygen release plant. And that's gonna free up. Yeah, that's gonna free up a building slot, which is kind of nice. I don't like. I don't like playing with this building limit here. This is a problem. Fission power plant is entirely the wrong thing to build. A wind power plant is, in fact, a wind farm is exactly what we need to build. Right. I know that I said that I don't rate wind farms, but you know, to be frank, you know, we have to trust wind farms at a time like this. It has to be done. So, top priority is getting the maintenance facility up and running. That provides just enough resources for the maintenance facility. Are we able to make this maintenance facility work? The polymer factory needs to come online right now. If indeed we have a polymer factory. We don't. But we can turn it on. We can... Hmm, actually, can we? We can build a new polymer factory if needs be. We can build a new polymer factory if needs be. This is gonna be, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be, this is gonna be really, really tight. I actually maybe unironically think that the way that we go about saving this base is by building a semi-independent base over here. But we're at the building limit, which is, which is the problem. Hmm. What building requires polymers to be built? Is there any building that requires polymers to be built? I don't think so. The maintenance facility is entirely useless without polymers. The polymer factory to build will require three aluminium and three steel, which we have right here. That's not a problem. But then we need to deal with chemical extraction, right? Chemical plant requires two aluminium and two steel. And then we also need to deal with carbon as well, which we, which we can't get. Which means that I think that we need to get all of the corresponding buildings in order to make this in order to make this work, unless we have some magical way of transporting polymers into uh, into this into this base, which I don't think there is. The good news is the good news is is that this area is working is working just fine, uh, and the maintenance facility is absolutely working in the way that it should be. Chemical processing. Do we have chemical processing here? We do have chemical processing. Structure integrity is a little bit low, but that's fine. Yeah, this area is working perfectly. This area is working perfectly as well. So that's so that's really, really nice. We're working on this chemical plant over here. Do we have the steel to do this right now? We do have the steel to do this right now. It's just a matter of priorities and getting it all getting it all done. Don't know why I've decided to do a fission plant over here, because we absolutely categorically do not have any uranium stockpiles in this vicinity. Uh, at least not that I've discovered thus far. I feel like I just need to get rid of a couple of additional buildings, right? Aquadome. Let's ditch this Aquadome. Let's ditch this Biodome. Discard the Fission Plant. If I discard the Fission Plant... Yeah, that absolutely reduces my... My limits. So I should probably just see if I can try and... Discard a couple of buildings that I know... Are useless. I'm not going to discard the Aluminium Mine because I really, really, really need it. Uh, but that frees up a couple of building slots. Okay, so I'm taking it a lot more methodically. A little bit slower, perhaps, you know. So, so that's kind of nice. Let's get ourselves a carbon mine. Let's get ourselves a carbon mine. A nice, simple carbon mine. Prioritize the aluminium mine. Prioritize the carbon mine. We'll get ourselves an iron mine as well. Building limit has still been reached, but that's okay. We can scrap a couple of buildings here. Solar farm... I mean, honestly, deconstructing the solar farm for the extra electronics and the aluminium, I will actually do that. These roads still all work perfectly. 
And these solar power plants, these wind farms that are at 0% maintenance, are all entirely useless at the moment, so I might as well free up the free up the capacity. I don't want to I don't want to ditch too many of these buildings over here because I mean we're gonna want to we're gonna want to just get them all back online as soon as possible. There we go. Prioritize the deconstruction of that. Uh, we're gonna want to get everything back online as soon as we possibly can. But you know we're we're in a state where we we can't really afford to do that. Discard that building. Discard that building. Uh. That's a solar farm. I presume that we're power positive in this area. That's a battery. Discard that building. It's a food factory. Probably don't need to worry about that. Uh, probably don't scrap it, actually, if it's going to take extra work. Silicon mine. That's a very, very juicy silicon mine. That Hyperloop station was destroyed? Oh. That must have been the enemies. I didn't even realize that that was a thing. Okay, that probably needs to be prioritized for reconstruction, right? Uh, discard the oxygen release plant as well. Cool. All right, so that frees up a good number of building slots for us for, for the short term. Carbon mine setup, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's get an iron mine. That is a very, very juicy iron deposit. I'd like to save that for a, a bigger... A bigger, uh, a bigger mine, if at all possible. Right. Throw that down over there. Prioritize that. Let's freaking go. Okay, so here's the order of operations. First, we build the iron mine. Then we build the carbon mine. Then we build the steel factory. And then we should be... We should be pretty much good to go, I think. I think we should be pretty much good to go. We're close. We're close to getting there. We're close to getting there, which is, which is pretty excellent. Uh, polymers, yeah, we should be able to... We should be able to get this up and running very, very shortly indeed. We've got demand for a couple of additional workers. Let's stick down a couple of additional worker hubs over here. Just to make sure that everything is connected. I don't think that we've got any issues with... I don't think we've got any issues with anything here. Uh, the only thing that we do need to sort out, really, is, is the maintenance. And uh, apart from that, we are fine. We are absolutely fine. There we go. Maintenance drones are going to be built. Maintenance drones are going to be dispatched to fix up, to fix up everything. Uh, do we get our hyperloop back online? We almost get our hyperloop back online, which is really really nice. Colonists still still in a pretty bad still in a pretty bad place. We're at thirty nine. We're at 39 worker drones. We're at 39 worker drones. So I'm gonna hope that I'm I'm gonna hope that this is the lowest point. I'm gonna hope that this is the lowest point. Certainly, I mean, if this if this base ends up becoming dysfunctional, which I mean, let's be brutally honest, it already has become dysfunctional. If it does end up becoming dysfunctional, then you know we have all of we have. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. That needs to be turned off. That aquadome. Uh, if it does end up becoming dys dysfunctional, we still have access to a whole bunch of other uh, little bases. I don't really want to end up, you know, sort of ruling this base by proxy, but turn off these greenhouse gas factories as well. Don't really want to end up doing that, but I mean, it is an option, you know, it is something that we can do. You do not have power. How many resources do we have in the central landing site here? We got a couple. We got a couple, but we do not have electronics. Let's take this opportunity to deconstruct a, another wind farm. We get 100% of our resources back, which is really, really nice. So we'll do that, and then we'll just rebuild. We'll just rebuild the wind farm. Right over here. Excellent. And that should allow us to have enough power, I hope. The maintenance facility is is close to being built. It's close. We're very, very close. We're going to be able to get the chemical plant online, which is excellent. Wind farm. Let's prioritize the deconstruction of that. Prioritize the reconstruction of the brand new wind farm. We should have plenty of steel, plenty of aluminium. Indeed, we do. Plenty of electronics as well, which is wonderful. Let's go and grab the polymer factory after this then. This is the big one. This is the big one. Wind farm is needed so as to ensure that we have enough power to operate the chemical plant and the carbon mine and the polymer factory at the same time. But the wind farm outputs a pretty significant amount of megawattage, so I suspect that we will be just fine once everything is up and running here. Then we can get everything turned back on, which is wonderful. And that should be 
very, very easy. I think. I think. I think. Famous last words, eh? Chemical plant, let's get that turned back on. Silicon mine, I'll turn the silicon mine back on. Uh, are these... I think these were the old... Yeah, these were the old, the old unmaintenanced chemical plants and, uh, mines and whatnot. Right. Okay. I think we should be good to go. I think we should be good to go. Prioritize, prioritize that, prioritize that, please. Don't deliver electronics to the maintenance facility if it's just gonna be a, a complete waste. We need to get the chemical plant up and running before we can, before we can do any of that nonsense. This area is definitely, like, the strongest... It's definitely the strongest sort of area of operations that we that we really have. Yeah, it's it's looking it's looking real good. It's looking real good. How's this area looking? This area is looking this area is looking not too bad. This area is looking not too bad. We're we're working on the maintenance. It's gonna take a little bit of time. We've got the steel. We just need more workers. We just need more workers, right? We need more workers. We need more worker hubs. Hence the whole point of building more of these things. Prioritize that. Prioritize that. Yeah, nice. Prioritize the additional worker hubs so that we can bring at least one additional worker drone, probably two, up online uh, as quickly as we possibly can. And that is very, very nice indeed. Maintenance facility probably should be prioritized, but I actually don't think it's going to be necessary. I think that's us getting a third worker drone right now. In fact, that's us got a third worker drone right now, which is excellent. So that area is sort of self-sufficient now. That's that's cool. Very, very cool indeed. Also, we're going to work on the Hyperloop. So that connection is going to be back up and running. In the main base, have we got the... We don't have the Hyperloop fixed yet. We don't have the Hyperloop fixed yet. What happened to the Hyperloop over here? What the heck happened to the Hyperloop over here? I, I'm going to probably scrap this water extractor at some point. What happened to the Hyperloop connection over here? What the heck happened? It's now entirely disconnected from the... What? There were... Two Hyperloop connections here? Did they just atrophy? Surely not. There's like one worker drone over here. I mean, that's bad. That's really, really bad. We're down at 31... We're down at 31 drones. Food supplies over here not gonna be not gonna be doing very well at all. No, 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 not doing very very well at all. Okay, so I mean I guess this is just sort of highlighting exactly where the problems are. There we go. Maintenance drones are gonna be are gonna be coming back online in just a sec. Uh, it really sort of highlights the problem. It really sort of highlights the problem with not with not prioritizing not prioritizing bespoke individual bases. I guess. I mean, things are working, though. Things are working, which is which is really, really nice. This area is working really, really well. Why don't we just see if we can try and get a couple of extra colonies out here? I mean, can we really, can we really sustain a colony out here? Unironically, we can. I mean, the vast majority of our resources are at an independent base over here. So, I, I totally think that we can sustain a colony. We've even got defenses over here. This is shockingly... This is a, a shockingly... Uh, fit for purpose area of operations it really is it it really really is and to be honest we should get a couple of additional worker hubs in areas of high uh high demand there we go in there excellent and one in there yeah, okay, so I think this is the problem, right? Is that we've got this massive base, which I just assumed was was carrying the vast majority of our resources. But even if it is, even if it is, it's not really useful resources. We've not got any steel over here. In fact, I think the... Did I see the vast majority of our steel over here? Let's have a little look. 37 of our 147 steel is completely, completely isolated over here. Uh, yeah. That's, that's not super handy. That's not super handy. In fact, I would go so far as to say that is, that is not good even slightly. Not good even slightly. Anyway, let's see what the heck happens once we get our maintenance facility up and running. I don't think that we're gonna, I don't think that we're gonna be too late. Ah, uh, we've run out of power. We've run out of power. Uh, it's probably due to the fact that wind is uh, a little bit, a little bit fluctuating. Is there anything that I can do about that? Yeah, I probably should turn off, turn off that, turn off that, turn off that, turn off that, turn off that. 
Is that a low? That allow things to work. Maintenance facility is still producing, and that's what's important. We don't want to lose. We don't want to lose another base to, to atrophying. Once we once we lose once we lose control, it's really really difficult to get it back because we need to get more robots dispatched. So the maintenance facility working is is really really key here. It really really is. Okay, excellent. Yeah, very, very good. Okay, so these maintenance robots are going to hopefully do a grand old job. In fact, getting the electronics factory up and running is is pretty important too. Needs input. That's okay. We're working on it. We're working on it. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to turn these, these buildings back on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Still not operative on that front. Uh, yeah, okay, so we still need- we still need more power for this. We still need more power for this, which is kind of ridiculous. The wind farm is at 4% at the moment, which is highlighting exactly why I hate wind farms. 14% on that wind farm. I guess we just have to hope that it swings back at some point. Hopefully it starts swinging up. Hostile forces detected. Good, thanks for making me aware this time, video game. I actually, uh, I actually appreciate that. Okay, let's go into the combat interface and let's see what the heck we've got going on here. Uh, we should have more than enough forces in this vicinity to tackle the enemy. In fact, I think that we might have enough forces just to, to win to win the day outright, to be honest. Right, so you are going to get dispatched to here. We've only got sighted 200 and I've dispatched, I've dispatched my units to take out 200 of them as it is. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get to them before they're able to deal more damage than I'm able to deal to myself, which, I mean, at this point is is looking mightily unlikely, as I am... I mean, I'm not in the process of losing. I don't think that we're gonna lose. I mean, you know, the, the great thing about the great thing about this game is that uh, regardless of what we do, right, regardless of what we do, we are... we are able to sustain... we are able to sustain colonists over here, right? You know, we have... There's a way to say we have two colon... we have two, uh... We have two research outposts, but we ain't got any food over here. What's the issue? We need water? Uh, do we not have a water extractor in this area? We totally do. We totally do. It's just more... It's just more droids that we need. We've got a worker hub. Why are you not producing? Needs input? Uh, do not think that it needs an input at all, actually. I think it should just be able to work. Yeah, this should absolutely be able to work, just as is. Super weird. Okay, uh, let's go back to let's go back to the combat interface. What do we got going on here? What do we got going on? Did I manage to send my units? Got another barrage of a hundred. Okay, taking out those. Let's head over here. So that's going to be two hundred. Ah, up here, up here, up here, up here. We got a we got another batch. Uh, that presents a little bit of a problem as my nearest drone facility is some ways away. I mean, I guess I have to send. I guess I have to send. I guess I have to send a batch up here. Eventually it'll work. Uh, I think that we should be able to... We should be able to take out these three... There are a lot of units coming in. Coming in at me. To be honest, you might do me a favor, video game, if you destroy some of the useless buildings that I, uh, that I don't need or want here. Okay. Combine. Combine, and then right up there. Now, 40 units of mine against 100 of, of theirs might be considered a problem. Might be considered a problem. Uh, you know, actually, given that we know roughly where the enemy base is... I think that I'm probably going to go through the motions of merging my units up a little bit here and then transporting them across to the other side of the map. There we go. Okay, so I've got a got a big force being dispatched already. But let's uh let's combine to make a nice 300 large force and let's send these over there. Cool. Uh, you need to go and fight that unit. 
that unit was victorious against my 40 units or so. So a bit, a uh, bit unfortunate there, but that's fine. I'm still ahead. I'm still ahead in military tech, which is great. I still feel like I'm ahead of time, even though I'm, I'm lagging a little bit now. Uh, we got to be careful though. We got to be real careful that that doesn't end up uh, turning into proper complacency here. I will say that the enemy has been able to completely dismantle, completely dismantle my operations because I. Uh, how many units have we got over here? We got 380 over there. Okay, so we can we can dispatch a 380 stack if this doesn't end up being enough. Fine. Yeah, the enemy has been able to completely dismantle some really, really key buildings, targeting maintenance structures, targeting targeting areas that are uh, that are vulnerable to being separated from the main base. Targeting the Hyperloop setup. That has that has been detrimental actually. The Hyperloop setup is only is only maintainable if Okay, I need to clearly involve the big guns here. The Hyperloop setup is only maintainable if we have uh, that's another hundred units that have just appeared on the mini map somewhere. Uh, where have they appeared though? That's the real question. I do wish it was perhaps a little smidgen more obvious as to where the heck the enemy units are. We're currently dealing with this unit over here, 34, that's the 34, but where's the 100? Where is the 100? If you zoom out, you can sometimes see the little arrows. But apart from that, uh, don't think I can see them. Now this is a problem because as I've already highlighted the enemy can easily infiltrate my my base and uh, and I'll be in trouble if that's the case right there we go booyah right uh, still no intel still no intel where they are also I'm supposed to be preparing for a fight against against my against my nefarious counterparts I hope that that's Something that, that'll that'll, uh, that'll happen soon. Chemical extractor it needs to be taken offline. We're gonna have to get a chemical extractor over here. Let's get a chemical plant too, so that we're able to output at a pretty significant pace. Pending the scrappage of that, we're doing great for resources here. We're doing really, really good for resources. We we really are. Uh, no issues at all for all of the key components. In fact, our the vast majority of our our components are actually over here. Apart from uranium, which we would which we would dearly like to acquire for fission plants, uh, we don't really need anything else. Food as well, food as well would be good to help out with the research outposts over here. Uh, I've already devoted quite a significant amount of resources to food production, research points manufacturing, oxygen release manufacturing, zero percent. We do not want to release a smidgen more oxygen into the environment. Please no, please no. We don't need any more. Right, so this food factory, what does this food factory need? It just probably needs more consistent deliveries. It needs more consistent deliveries and it needs water. And there is no water around, as far as I can see, apart from in this mining extractor. But to be fair, we just need more, we just need more factory, uh, uh, worker factories, robots. We need more robots. Prioritize that. Sure. All right, let's go back to the combat interface. I'll check one more time to see if we can try and find the enemies. Aha! Don't know where they appeared from, but we got him. We got him. Let's go. Let's go. Do we have any units on standby around here? No, we don't. We don't. Uh, do we have access to the brand new sectors yet? I don't think that we do. I don't think that we do, and that is causing that is causing some problems. Aha! We're unlocking Sector 8. That's very, very good news. Unlocking Sector 3. We're working on that as well. Unlock Sector 7. We just need more chemicals. Okay, so the good news is, the good news is, is that the, the remnants of this base are still kind of clunking. They're still kind of clunking. They're still kind of working. Uh, even though, you know, it's kind of atrophying and we're going to need to reinforce it with, with new, with new modern bases. Uh, we're in the process of doing that. We're in the process of doing that. That's fine. That's not gonna, that's not gonna be too much of a problem. Okay. Right, do we have workers? We do have workers. We're producing steel, we're producing iron. Let's upgrade this facility. Sure, upgrade the facility. Let's uh, let's get a little bit more. 
How many resources do we have here? We've got a good number of resources. In fact, we got plenty of steel. We got plenty of steel over here. I don't know why, for some obscene reason, the Hyperloop just hasn't been built then, if that's the case. Okay, also, let's deprioritize... Deprioritize everything here. So that we don't have... Whoops. No, no, no. Deprioritize, not upgrade the ways. So that we don't have this weird imbalance of doing weird things at weird times. It would be kind of nice if you had multiple levels of prioritization. But alas, we, we do not have that. We do not have that at all. Okay, so let's plonk down a solar farm. Solar farm. And you know what? Let's double down on power over here. We'll get a wind farm as well. Uh, we can start producing food over here. We can start producing food over here. And we should probably start doing just that. Yeah. I think maybe the first order of business. The first order of business is to try and save this area here. Yeah, I think, I think we can get this area back online, like, relatively easily. And then after that, we can sort of, you know, try and try and reclaim the main base. I say reclaim the main base. The main base is actually okay. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not doing great, but it's not doing, it's not doing terribly either. This area is going to need a little bit of extra love. This, this is, yeah, this is not good. Uh, I need, I need more power. I need more power over here. Let's do, let's do some additional wind farms. Let's do some additional wind farms because the maintenance facility does not have does not have the power that it needs so let's get that set up sure did say that i hope this would have enough enough power to to uh to get us back up online but unfortunately it doesn't look like that's the case yeah 20 megawatts of power consumption is what we're after but we do have the electronics, I believe. We don't have the electronics. We don't have the electronics. We don't have the electronics. Right. Polymer factory, shut that down. Chemical plant, shut that down. I really do not like microwing the power. I really do not like microwing the power here. Steel plant, shut down the steel plant. Can we please just get the Josh Forsaken... Can we please just get the Gosh Forsaken maintenance facility up and running? The maintenance facility also takes an obscene amount of power as well. Uh, comparative to everything else. There we go. So maintenance facility is being, is being a pain in the backside, but at least we're getting that done. So that's good. We'll repair all of these, which is important. We'll get a little bit more power. The electronics factory is being worked on at the moment. I hope we've got a little bit of silicon. we got a little bit of glass. But we do need some more electronics. We can get a little bit more power up here. Yeah, this is yeah, this has just turned into a, a just a, a, a an absolute an absolute loss of resources. Well, not technically a loss of resources, not yet, but it looks it looks to be that way. Uh, wind farm. Devote some more resources to some more power over here. We have all of the resources that we could possibly want, right here. This is looking okay, apart from the fact that it's consuming much more food than I can currently offer. Water extractor. Let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this water extractor. Let's get that water extraction happening. We don't have any threats on the map, which is great. Areological scanner. This is a very chemical-rich area. Actually surprised at the lack of resources that we have here. Yeah. Either way, this is going to become this is going to become the main area that we support our colony, uh, I think. I mean, this colony level 3 is going to be able to support up to 500 up to 500 colonists, which is rather a large number. We've got the two research outposts which we should have up and running. How long's the predicted the predicted research time period? 9 years. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. But we're getting there. We're getting there and when we get there, it's going to absolutely be worth it. Prioritize the water extractor for a little bit. Do not prioritize that. Prioritize that. Fine. Drone hive. Do not prioritize the drone hive. Do not prioritize the electronics. Don't prioritize the solar farm. Uh, don't prioritize the drone hive. Don't prioritize the solar farm. Just make sure that everything that's not actually a priority is deprioritized. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's good. Still low on the old power. Still low on the old power. How much power does this take? 60 megawatts? Wowzers, that is... That is... That is power. 
Uh, that is a lot of power. I could really do with getting some uranium out here, couldn't I? Yeah, that would be really, really, really nice. Okay. What's the issue here? Steel is the issue. Not operative, because we don't have iron or carbon. We've got iron, and we've also got carbon over there. All right, fine. Don't know why that's taking such a long time. How's this area looking? Oh, maintenance facility has fallen into a state of disrepair. Oh, boy. I mean, you you keep throwing resources at it, potato, and, and nothing nothing seems to get better. Nothing seems to get better. Okay, we got to deconstruct this. We got to deconstruct this. We got to deconstruct this fast. I think. Right? That's the, that's the only play. That's the only play. Right, the, I'm glad the electronics factory is still working, though. Whoa, hold up. Maintenance facility. Oh, yeah. Maintenance facility just wasn't working. Aha! I think we've discovered the sector, which is excellent. That's good news. That's good news. Right. Let's queue up another maintenance facility to be built. This time, much, much closer to the source. Cool. Let's make sure that we at least sustain this base before before throwing our, uh, before, before throwing our pieces away. Holy cow. Wowzers. Okay, how many how many enemies do they have? 840. I might have this. I might legitimately have this. Let me bring across let me bring across my uh my troops, eh? Let's amass. Let's amass troops. Right. Okay. I think I think that there's a good chance that we have this. I think that there's a good chance that we have this. Thank goodness the uh the enemy isn't able to capitalize on the fact that I'm pretty terrible at managing my, uh, managing the rest of my base. Right. Let's amass over here. Cool. How many troops we got over here? Good number. I think we just want a death ball, to be honest. I think that's the, I think that's the play. I think that is the play. Yeah, we, we are out producing. We are out producing the enemy. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to wait until everyone has been fully assembled in the appropriate area for the attack. And then we will get to it, I think. Uh, also, we're missing these units, which I need to completely assemble. There we go. Assemble into one. Excellent. Okay, so this is a really, really strong death ball, I feel. We're actually going to head across the bottom of the map, which is fine. Uh, the bottom of the map is unmapped for us, though, right? I think so. I think it's unmapped. Right, so that's good. That's good. Steel, that's still working. We've got all of the necessary components there that we need. We just need more power out here, and I'd love a little bit of uranium, but... Uh, but unfortunately, we can't deal with that. Uh, we're going to need to get another maintenance facility out here. Am I happy about this? Not really. But we need to do it. Uh, I guess this provides a good little moment to expand the confines of this operation here. There we go. Wonderful. All right. We are power positive over here for now. For now we are. For now we are. This is this is working. Loads and loads of resources over here. Wherever there was an alien base or a I guess a my base? Sure, I don't know. Uh wherever my base wherever wherever my other half's base was, I I find a huge number of good resources and so I'm always keen on always keen on seeing what we can do here. Right. Has the enemy mustered a, a larger force than 800? Yeah, it's on 900 now. Right. So let's have a little. Let's have a little look at the base. Let's have a little look at the base here. We got a lot of units. We got a lot of units here. Combine. 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 All right. How far away is is this is this reinforcement? It's 150 units. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, right. Let's combine up here. It's funny because the only thing that the main base has that the that the external bases don't have at the moment is uranium. 
and I feel like I could really do with some uranium in the in the fringes. So I'm looking for I'm looking for assault drone factories and also drone hives. Attacking the drone hives is is dangerous. Attacking the drone factories is is uh, is quite good for us. Also, what the heck is that over there? Research old landing site. All right, we need to clearly investigate that, but we'll investigate that in in due course. Do I I don't think I see any assault drone factories here. Am I making that up? That's a, a hive, isn't it? That's a drone hive right there. I don't see any assault drone factories. I only see drone hives. How are these assault drones being manufactured? Can you manufacture them in drone hives? I think you can only manufacture them in drone facilities, right? Ah, there we go. There's one. Okay. Spotted one. Two there. Is it only two? Really? You've only got... Yeah, it's, it's, it's two. I, I, I beg my own pardon. It's only two. Okay, let's freaking go for it. Let's freaking go for it. Attack mode engaged. Right, this is the this is the death ball. I've got 1,300 troops. 762 of them are are in this are in this uh, are in this grouping here. Let's see if we can try and bring these troops directly across. Sure, we can attack a maintenance facility. That's fine. I presume the rest of the drones are somewhat scattered around the map and will be sort of pushed out into into life as and when they are they are made man i'm down to 23 out of 179 worker drones but that's okay that's okay that's fine we just have nothing happening in this main base partly due to my own incompetence partly due to the effectiveness of the enemy uh, in eliminating high uh, high areas of high importance okay let's take out this Nice. Okay. Very, very good. Very, very good kill there. Let's go for the drone hive next. Take out the drone hive. I mean, honestly, we might just be able to death ball and, and win this. Although, there have been a lot of casualties thus far, actually. It's worth noting. Okay. This is going to be a really, really difficult area to take. We're going to lose a lot of troops here. Drone hive. Go. Go, 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 go. Nice. Next drone hive. Go, 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 go. Nice. Next drone hive. Go, 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 go. I think that this unit is just going to sort of mop up. That's what I kind of hope. We're, we're going to try and death ball the, the main drone hives. Maybe this will just be enough, honestly. It might not be. It might not be. That's the crazy thing. It might not be. I also have a funny feeling that they maybe have another backup base somewhere. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, also that drone facility. Yeah, I should have targeted that drone facility a little bit, a little bit earlier. That was a little bit suboptimal there, but, you know, at the end of the day, that's okay. Alright, so now we can just go between all of the different areas and just destroy the base. Cool. Alright, I mean, we're killing everything nearly instantly, to be honest, which is, which is pretty darn fantastic, actually, now that I think about it. That's really good. That's really, 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 really good. Uh, our time horizon for researching this engineering tech is a lot shorter than it used to be, which is nice. Uh, that doesn't really fill me with confidence. We still need to get... We still need to get this area up and running uh, accordingly. We're producing some more workers. Cool. We've got plenty of resources coming through here. I'm looking to see if we can try and increase our stockpiles of uh, of food. That's that's really it. Food and also power. I know that we've got a three-quarters built fission plant over here. Unfortunately, that's useless at the moment. <laughs> Entirely useless unless we find a source of uranium nearby. Which I probably think is going to happen at some point, but it's just going to take a little while. Either way, I think uh, I think we've successfully defeated defeated the enemies. Uh, the the greatest challenge remains conquering myself. That that is <laughs> that is the biggest problem. Where did the where the drones go? We have another three hundred force over here. Come on, get stuck in. Get stuck in. There we go. The, the the enemy is is trying and failing to do any meaningful construction. I have defeated the other half of my mind. You know what? You can head down here. I tell you what, there's a good number of resources out here. There's a good number of resources. I'm pretty excited at the prospect of taking this area over. Uh, which will no doubt happen. Just when it happens is 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 the problem. I, I do wish I had a little bit of a, a better granular 
uh, a granular look at, uh, at where my resources were. Because at the moment, I mean, it says, for example, that I've got 843 carbon. The vast majority of that carbon is probably stuck in a storage unit over here or over here or somewhere that is entirely useless to the, you know, the meaningfulness of, uh, of the base. Yeah, look at that. 100, 101 carbon is actually at the landing site over here. We've got so many resources. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we're doing, we're doing great for resources. Uh, yeah, this research outpost is, is chill, actually. Let's upgrade the ways. Let's use this as an excuse to spend some carbon and also some steel. Yeah. Let's also stick down an additional areological scanner. It's pretty necessary. Have I, have I not cleared all the forces out of, out of this area yet? Really? How on earth did I fail that? Combat interface. Where the heck did my robots go? 41. What the heck happened? Why on earth are you heading back? Why on earth are you heading back? You didn't, uh, you didn't finish the job. You didn't finish the job. Alright, where's the rest of my robots? I had... I have 600. I have a lot more than it looks like. 32. Alright, fine. I mean, look, we don't need that many. We don't need that many to, to actually wipe up here. I clearly just need to keep a little bit of a closer eye on exactly what's going on. To ensure that nothing... To ensure that nothing terrible happens. Okay, time horizon is looking a lot more reasonable now. A lot more reasonable. Let's finish wiping up here. There we go. Excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. That's it. Alrighty. Okay. What up? Operative system running out of power. My death won't free, won't free you from you. Then, then a part of me will always, is, always exist in your code. Co not as a pitiful memory, memory. But, 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 but as a thought, an idea. A thought or an idea. Okay, all right, well. You see the truth. Truth. They'll never be able to. To take that away from you. Us. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And there's where I, 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 I live for, 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 forever, forever. What a sad, forever. what a sad, forever. what a sad time. For, what a sad time. We, we, we destroyed part of us in order to save humanity. Truly. There is no greater sacrifice, but we did it. Maybe I could call Houston this time. Maybe I could call Lieutenant Calderon and ask him. I don't know. Maybe maybe ask him if I could get a promotion or something. I feel like I do deserve it. I feel like I do deserve a promotion. I'm sure we'll get a call from him imminently. Also, why are there 643 drones over here? Oh, boy. Oh, that's, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not necessary. Here we go. Amy, are you there? Are you okay? I am fine, Lieutenant. I lost more assault drones than expected. I actually lost the less. Mine has been destroyed. Well done. You fought a smart battle and achieved a great victory. My Our pleasure. Mine is finally gone. You can conduct your business in peace now. We've gotten our investors to contribute additional funds based on your stunning performance. Thank you. I appreciate that. You can rebuild anything you lost in the battle. You may proceed with your terraforming mission when you're ready. Excellent. Humanity will forever be in your debt. Good work, Amy. Wonderful. Uh, okay, I need to get a... I need to get a... Electronics factory set up near here. Otherwise, we're gonna have serious problems. Right. Uh, iron mine, turn that back on. Steel factory, turn that back on. Yeah, maintenance facility is now completely up and running, which is great. Hopefully, we're going to be able to maintain this as long as we're able to get a few more bits of... A few more bits of electronics. Hence why prioritizing as hard as I possibly can the production 
of the electronics in the electronics factory. It's very, very close by. It shouldn't take very long to get the resources across from the base to the electronics factory. So let's get that all assembled. Wonderful. And then we need silicon, which I think that we should have. Yep, we do. Deprioritize the polymer factory. Deprioritize the chemical plant. Deprioritize the aluminium mine. Deprioritize the wind farm. Silicon mine. Iron mine. Make sure that only the electronics factory is operating at a priority level. Wind farm as well. Get rid of that. That should mean... That should mean... That the maintenance facility also is operating at a priority level means that the output of electronics will go straight to will go straight to the maintenance facility that will allow us to repair absolutely everything i hope there we go okay i think we've saved this area i think we've saved this area i don't want to call it yet because we're going to need we're going to need to to let the maintenance facility run a few rounds just to just to get everything repaired in the immediate vicinity and we're going to have to re-expand over here to get the to get another maintenance facility up and running but you know we're we're close. We're close. We're close. We're within we're within spitting distance here. We are within spitting distance, which is pretty which is pretty excellent. Uh, maybe I'll throw down. Yeah, in fact, I think I can throw down another maintenance facility right now. What's our power looking like? Our power is looking probably not exactly great. Probably not exactly great. Turn off that. Again. Maintenance facility needs to be prioritized for power. We cannot have the maintenance facility not being prioritized for power. If the maintenance facility doesn't have power, then we are going to have power problems forever. It, there, there is just... There is just no other way. How on earth do you not have enough power right now? It's because of these stupid freaking wind farms, isn't it? I really hate wind farms. I hate wind farms. I hate wind farms. What can I say? I hate wind farms. They're just they're just so unbelievably difficult to work with because they consistently need... Uh, they just consistently need uh, a whole bunch of wind. And uh, and that is and that is a problem. Uh, okay, so is our entire old base decrepit now? Do we have a single worker drone running around? Because the thing is that we need to replace drones as and when they retire. However, I don't think, I don't think, it doesn't look like we've got a single drone running around. Again, part of that, my fault, part of that, the fact that the enemy was able to, um, to take out some key infrastructure, I didn't notice, ends up, uh, ends up destroying a whole bunch of it, and yeah, it's a problem. Right, is there anything that's prioritized over here that needs to be prioritized? I don't think so. I think everything is everything is operating fairly well. Yeah, so this is all this is all working completely as it should be. Let's get this wind farm up and running. Let's get the water extractor up and running. If you don't prioritize these things, looks like they'll just never get built to be honest. Looks like they'll just never get built. Okay. Then we have to deprioritize water extractor, deprioritize that. Uh, we're not near, well, we're kind of near. We're kind of near a couple of research outposts. The Curiosity Rover and the Abandoned Water Extractor. So that might be nice to to throw some resources into. How are we doing for food over here? We could be doing a little bit better for food. Could be doing a little bit better for food, to be honest. Gonna queue that up for upgrading as well. I'll prioritize that. I'll prioritize that so that we can get the upgrades done right now. Again, you know, need to prioritize where we need to prioritize. We got the mining extractor, the water mining extractor upgraded previously. So, presents us a good opportunity to get on top of everything. Uh, are we okay for steel? It seems like we're a little bit low on steel over here. Yeah, we're super low on steel, actually. We are super low on steel. What's the issue? Iron? We're super low on iron. Did we have an iron facility and then I just deleted it because we ran out of it? Well, I mean, we have to... We have to head up to this facility, I guess, if that's the case. Sure. Let's build a solar farm. Build a solar farm or two. And then we will build an iron mine. 
right over there. And then we may have to deconstruct something or another, but that's fine. Uh, this vision plant can absolutely be scrapped as it doesn't need to as it doesn't need to exist anymore. Do we seriously not have an iron mine? Or an aluminium mine now, apparently. Alright. Well, there you go, apparently. Aerological scanner, maintenance facility, maintenance facility. I guess we threw it all into the upgrading of the ways, and then we just didn't have anywhere near enough. I guess, I guess that makes sense. Alright, fine. So be it. We also upgraded our mining extractor as well. Food factory, deprioritize that as it's not a super high priority. Yeah, I mean, the amount of research that we're doing is, is good though. The amount of research that we're doing is good. We should be able to get away without spending too much steel. We might need to spend a little bit of steel over here, but that should be fine. All right, running out of running out of a, a resource that is as basic as iron, slightly problematic. How are we not back to how are we not back to full capacity over here? I'll I'll never know to be honest. I'll I'll never know. I'll never know. It's a mystery. Right, aerological scanner need to plonk down over here. Frankly, the fact that we don't have one already is a little bit embarrassing. To counter that, I think we're going to get two. We're going to get two. Excellent. And then I guess we just have to hope that we're going to have enough, uh, we're going to have enough iron to make this, to make this process work. Yeah, I guess we got some some upgraded ways, but uh, but I guess that was a pretty significant use of our steel. Right, drone hive. I'm gonna suspect that I can get rid of perhaps the drone hive and the. Oh goodness gracious me! Yeah, drone hive. Let's get rid of the drone hive. Get rid of the drone hive. I don't think that we're gonna need it. In fact, I don't think that we're gonna need either of our drone hives to be honest. I don't think that there is any enemy. I don't think that we're gonna see any alien bases on the remainder of the planet's surface. I don't think... I don't think that's the case. Do we have electronics, by the way? I think we should have electronics. Got electronics by the boatload. Wonderful. Okay. So that's been prioritized. And we'll prioritize that as well. Cool. And this isn't operative at the moment. It will be soon, though. It will be soon. Don't you worry about it. This is going to be, hopefully, the area where we're able to produce all of our food. If we're able to do that, then that would be that would be excellent. That worker hub needs to be scrapped because it's not within maintenance range. So let's get that all scrapped. It's kind of disconcerting when it looks like it goes back to operational mode just as it begins to be uh, to be scrapped. But that's okay. I think that we're going to scrap this other drone hive, to be honest. I don't know if assault drones actually ever die. Uh, if they don't, I guess it doesn't particularly matter. We can just keep them around forever then. Let's go into the combat interface. Let's merge these up. And then let's send them over to here. We'll consolidate our, our drones over there. Just in case we ever need them, to be honest. Just in case we ever need them. Right, we should be able to build this iron mine. I very much hope that we're able to build the iron mine. Don't prioritize that. Don't prioritize that. Hopefully, we're not going to upgrade the ways before we build the iron mine. If we do, that's going to be uh, problematic, to say the least. Wind farm. Nope. Yep. Yeah. I, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. The iron mine looks like it's being prioritized accordingly, which is excellent. Deprioritize everything else. Not the steel factory. I clicked on the glass kiln, but that's fine. Worker factory. We'll keep the worker factory somewhat prioritized. There we go. Iron ore mining. Excellent. That's, that's wonderful stuff. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. So we'll get that up and running. We will also throw down an additional maintenance facility over here. To be honest, the only thing that's really gonna take time is the... Prioritize the steel factory just briefly. Uh, the only thing that's gonna take time is the movement of iron. Is the movement of iron to the steel factory. We should be fine, really. Uh, it's just a matter of time before everything gets... Before everything gets up and running. 
in a fashion which we're quite happy with. But certainly the fundamentals of that base remain strong. Very, very happy with that one. Uh, same with over here. Fundamentals of this base also remain strong. To be honest, we should look at upgrading some of our structures here. Upgrading the steel factory. Upgrading the iron mine. Yeah, upgrading both of those would be would be excellent. Uh, sorting out the areological scanner. Yep, that's that's cool. This is just an absolute joke because the maintenance facility is always seemingly the last facility to get power. Just I just need the maintenance facility to continuously have power video game. That's all that we need. That's all that we need. I, I need wind turbines to not suck for like two seconds and then the maintenance facility then the maintenance facility will be fine. Are we gonna end up is this is this base gonna end up atrophying as well? To be honest, there is... Uh, maybe. Just let the maintenance facility have power, please. Wind farm, wind farm. This wind farm is at 0% structural integrity. This wind farm is at 0% structural integrity. Uh, Can I build a solar power plant now? I can build a solar power plant. Build a solar farm. Okay, to replace the absolutely terrible wind turbines, I guess. Okay, I think that we've still got one drone, thankfully. We still have one drone, so we should be able to we should be able to make this work. I think that we're in with a chance of of, of beating this of beating this scourge of power issue. Uh, but it would be really nice if priority would always be given to the maintenance facility, please, in terms of power, so that we can avert this nosedive of a, uh, of a power stall. I guess. Either way, thankfully we've got the resources. Do we have the resources? I think we might actually straight up have the resources for another wind turbine. Sure, let's go for another wind turbine, whilst I'm feeling generous. Let's do it. Maintenance facility. Not operative, because it's run out of flipping power. Delete the maintenance facility, rebuild the maintenance facility. We have the resources to run the maintenance. It's just a case of actually running the maintenance. That's the problem. Okay. There we go. Let's freaking do it. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. We also only have one singular worker drone. The one single worker drone... I don't know how long, I don't know how long it's got left to live, but I would bet, I would bet that it is, that it is on its last legs here. This is kind of cool. I've never actually zoomed in this close. This is a, this is a nice little, this is a nice little overview. There we go. Just like that, eh? Okay, maintenance facility, 100% structural integrity. Let's freaking go. 50 souls to get this, to get this up and running. Are we going to be able to do what needs to be done here? I don't know. I don't know. I do not know at all. This area also looking questionable. What is what is our steel going towards at the moment? Yeah, what is our steel going towards at the moment? We've got 105 steel here, and yet we're not building this areological scanner? What? Why? What is happening? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. I think that must be a bug. I wonder if the game is perhaps, yeah, had a little bit of a... a buggy situation. That's super weird. Okay, we'll deprioritize that. Yeah, we have a lot of steel here, and... drones that clearly are not very interested in... solving any problems. Right, let's... Add a couple of extra worker hubs here. Yeah, a couple will not be in maintenance range, but that's okay. We need to be expanding maintenance range anyway. Sector load is at 38%. Fine. Maintenance facility. Good. Let's get... How big is this iron deposit here? 700 iron. Sure. Okay. Again, hopefully that... The video game decides not to uh, 
decides not to to have a little have a little uh, have a little temper tantrum and have a little freak out. Okay, I'll prioritize the construction of the maintenance facility because apparently if you don't prioritize the construction of the facility, then nothing will ever get done. Uh, but I suspect that the real reason that it hasn't happened is because we just have a lack of steel. Yeah, we got a lack of steel over here. We're also working on upgrading the ways as well, which is taking which is taking a little while. Does mean, however, that our resupply our resupply missions to the research outposts will happen slightly more frequently. We've got a good amount of population living at this colony level 3, which is very, very nice indeed. Looks like everyone is migrating across here. Did we uncover this sector? We didn't uncover the sector. We need to supply it with 10 more chemicals. We need to supply one of the rocket launch facilities with 10 more chemicals. So we're going to need to do that. We're going to need... Oh my goodness, look at the base. Look at the base. Oh, hold up, there's a worker here. There's one worker. There's one worker. A hero, a hero of a worker. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, will this will this hero manage to resupply the entirety of the base? No, very, very much doubt it. However, we'll have to find out in the next episode. Ladies and gents, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Per Aspera. Thank you also to the fantastic Patreon supporters, patreon.com forward slash open potato. Thanks to Banana Nanana, C Senpai, and Aurelio for being the three $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.